Kristen with KiwiBox.com. We're, si we're sitting here with Charlie Shabetta, the Senior Director of Corporate Communications for Nintendo. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the games that uh, Nintendo recently announced at their press conference. So I wanted to start out with uh, talking about Animal Crossing City Folk, if we could. Sure. Um, that's definitely, an, I mean, I love Animal Crossing. I was actually playing it, playing it on the DS on the way here. Um, what it, can you just give us a little overview on like what the game is about and how it really utilizes the Wii's like, functionalities? Sure, Kristen. Um, you know, Animal Crossing uh, City Folk is a game we're talking about here at E3 this week. It's really exciting. It's got a calendar angle to it. So as you play in the game, it's happening just like it is in real life. So if you're playing it in October, it's going to get you ready for Halloween. If it's around Christmas, you'll get you ready for that. It's got a great community angle to it, too, where you can talk to people. And we just introduced a new uh, peripheral called We Speak, which allows you to not only... Um, you know, talk to people through text messages and letters and the ways you normally would do it, but you actually talk now. And as opposed to having just one person talk at a time, it picks up the whole room. So the whole social angle to the week can then be carried forward in this game in the communication of not just you talking to somebody else around the world, but your whole room. As long as anybody's within 12 feet of this microphone, anybody can talk. And that really brings the game to life. Great. And then as far as We Speak goes, are we going to see that coming up in a lot of other games where we get to use that? Yeah, We Speak is twenty nine ninety nine, and it comes uh, separate. It's not bundled with Animal Crossing, so you can use that with other games too if the developers choose to use that technology. And what's exciting is once you introduce these technologies, it's great to see where developers take it. Like last year, we introduced We Fit, and the balance board was incorporated on that. So now We Fit is out, but we're also seeing games like Sean White Snowboarding from Ubisoft, and they're using the balance board on their Raving Rabbits. So it's great to see where the um, creative minds in this industry can take these technologies. Um, now, then moving on for the balance board, there's so many more games incorporating that. Um, can you just give us like a little bit about like uh, Sean White uh, snowboarding and how like kind of that kind of how that whole thing came about? Sure. Well, Ubisoft's a great partner, and they really bought into what we're doing, and, and they understand that the way to succeed on the Wii is to build a game from the ground up using the unique capabilities of the console. So, using the Wii Remote and the motion sensing capabilities of that, and the balance board. So, they're working with Sean White so that he can really bring to them the feel of what it's like to be on a snowboard, what it's like to look down on the mountain, and he's been great, and they've been a great partner, and people are having a great time getting on the balance board, and it feels just like you're on the mountain. Cool. And uh, speaking of sports, we also have Wii Resort coming out, which kind of really builds on the whole idea of Wii Sports in general. Can you tell us a little bit about how that does build on the idea and just make it even like funner and cooler and more accessible to people? Sure. Well, you know, Wii Sports comes bundled with every uh, Wii console that ships, and this is the follow-on to Wii Sports called Wii Sports Resort. And what's interesting about this game particularly is it, the games are a little bit more focused towards the beach, so you can throw a disc on the beach and you can do a water cruiser and power around the bay. But it comes standard with what's called Wii Motion Plus, which is an accessory that plugs onto the back of the Wii remote or the bottom of it. And it makes the, the um, gameplay then much more accurate and detailed and, and precise. So everything you're doing, every little twist of the wrist, you can take a, a disc and every little um, you know, change you do in your arm, it, it changes how the velocity of that disc sails. So until you really try it out, it's hard to, to kind of understand it. But once you get your hands on it and you can feel it, you go, man, this is exactly where I want to go. And then with the Motion Center, that will be incorporated in more games in the future as well, if I uh, understand correctly. Certainly. That, well, we're introducing it here. This game, Wii Sports Resort, doesn't ship till this spring, so that gives developers plenty of time to get their head around the technology and build their own games that utilize the, uh, the technology. Great. Now, there's another game announced at the press conference called Wii Music, and this looks like a really cool music game that really anybody can get into, and we saw a band play on stage, and it just looked like... I mean, it looked like so much fun. So can you tell us about some of the instruments and stuff that you can do in the game? Sure. There's up to 60 instruments in Wii Music, and it's a little different to take on the music games that you probably know over the past. So, you know, Rock Band and Guitar Hero, those are great games. I love playing them. They're great partners on, on the console. But what Wii Music does is take it in a little different direction. As opposed to um, trying to perfectly recreate notes as they're happening on the screen and following that pattern, you can go wherever you want with the game. So if you want to do that, if you want to you know, hit those notes just like they're appearing on the screen, you can do that. Or you can make the song your own and just go in a completely different direction and kind of have a jam session with you and three of your friends and you're all just rocking out and doing whatever you want with it. So, And you can actually record that tape or that, uh, that video and send it to a friend so they can see how you played it. So then you can kind of compare notes. Now, another thing uh, that was briefly mentioned at the press conference was Pokemon Rangers. Um, would you care to tell us a little bit about this new Pokemon game and what it kind of brings to the franchise? Sure. But this Pokemon's been such a hugely successful franchise for, for Nintendo, and they have such a legion of fans. And this is the latest installment in that franchise, and I think fans are really going to be happy with what they see. Cool. 
All right. Um, another thing that was very briefly mentioned, but I got a pretty big crowd response, was Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for the DS. Is there anything that you could tell us about that? Any more details? Anything at all? Well, here at E3, you know, you get a lot of people that are diehard gamers, and when that game was announced, they just lost their mind because this is a game that they didn't expect to see on the Nintendo DS, but Rockstar and Take-Two do a great job with this franchise. They're making a custom build specific to the Nintendo DS and the unique capabilities that the dual screen and the touch screen have for you. Um, so I'm look, really looking forward to seeing what they come up with. And you, do you know when we'll find out more announcements about that, or are they keeping it kind of hush-hush for now? Well, they've announced that it's going to ship this winter, and they'll be coming out with more details as we get closer to that ship date. So I don't have a whole lot more for you now other than we're super excited to see it's coming to the DS. Okay. Can't wait for that. Believe you me. <laughs> me too. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you're very busy. No problem. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So for more info on all of Nintendo's latest updates, head on over to KiwiBox.com.